This is the story of one of the most sought after houseplants in history. A plant with a mired past that has been stolen, poached, auctioned, and sold for tens of thousands of dollars. Nearly gone extinct and then into mass production. This is the story of the Holy Grail Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. Our story begins 6,500 miles away from Los Angeles, tucked into the Brazilian rainforest in the southeastern state of Espirito Santo, hence the species name Spiritus Sancti, or Holy Spirit. The Philodendron Spiritus Sancti, or PSS for short, was first collected by George Bunting in 1982 and scientifically published in 1987 as an addition to the philodendron genus. It's also known as Santa Leopoldina, which is a small nearby town to the north. But be careful, because locals have long sold four look-alike philodendron species all under the same common name. Spiritus Sancti grows around 2,600 feet of elevation near the city of Domingos Martins. Even in 2023, you can see how the tropical rainforest of Espirito Santo is the perfect birthplace for this tropical plant. I can just imagine it sprawling down from the tops of trees down to the jungle floor in the 1980s. Before much agricultural development, this plant was likely growing more freely on trees, though never prolifically. PSS has always been known to grow slow and propagate kind of slowly. Though, in my experience, Spiritus roots pretty quickly and grows at an average pace. By 2007, it was reported by researchers in the area that only six specimens of this plant existed in the wild. Knowing their value, these plants were closely guarded by a family farm in Brazil. Poaching of the plant, forest clear-cutting, had decreased the already small population of the Spiritus Sancti. The expansion of Domingos Martins over the last 30 years can be seen here from satellite imagery. The present day images from 2023 show a forest backdrop with developing industries and towns in the forefront. In the early 2000s, only a few cuttings were exported from Brazil and sold to avid plant collectors in the West, predominantly in Florida as well as the Midwest, many of whom were members of the International Aeroid Society. These private collectors served an important purpose in protecting and multiplying a nearly extinct plant. Q Gardens notes that the recollection of the species has been attempted, but it was unsuccessful in southeastern Brazil. This hemi-epiphyte was unlike anything plant collectors had ever seen. Hanging off trees in the rainforest, it can be recognized by the elongated arrow-shaped leaves. With distinct leaf lobes and nearly two-foot petioles, which carry its drooping dark green leaves with reddish venation on the backsides. Always an elusive plant, the price hovered around $1,000 in 2012, where a specimen was auctioned off at the International Aeroid Society show in Florida. Tom Crowe of the Missouri Botanical Garden mentioned the plant had never sold for under $600, and the last one had sold for $1,200. Between 2010 and 2018, the plant mostly sold through the International Aeroid Society shows from boutique aeroid collectors as well as through private party transactions. Enid Afolter of NSC Tropicals was also a source for those looking for Spiritus Sancti. If you were looking for a rare aeroid, Enid was the place you went. Enid is a legend in the houseplant world and was an early importer of the Spiritus Sancti. She helped to distribute it to other collectors in the early 2000s. She estimates having sold about 30 of the Holy Grail philodendron in the early days. By 2015, the houseplant market was starting to heat up and aeroids, plants from the Araceae family, were gaining popularity with plant collectors. Many of these collectors eventually discovered the Spiritus Sancti. This uptrend in plant popularity continued for the next five years before reaching a boiling point. In the lockdown of 2020, everyone knew someone who was becoming plant obsessed. Common and rare plant prices just soared. The Spiritus Sancti was reaching incredible heights and flooding onto millions of people's Instagram explore pages. Collectors developed a gotta catch em all mentality and the Spiritus Sancti was the ultimate mark of elite status in the houseplant world. From about mid-2019 to 2021, the most sought-after houseplant in the world was the Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. Prices were touching $15,000 for a multiple-leafed version of this plant. 
The plantemic was fueling this craze, forcing buyers to chase a status symbol and something to speculate on for gamblers. We had long since departed from the early days of aeroid collectors in the 2000s. People who weren't even into plants got into plants because of the spiritus sancti and the attention that came with it. These times were not unlike the tulip mania of the 17th century in the Netherlands, where some tulip bulbs sold for 10 times the average salary. History would prove to be an accurate prediction for the future. And prices weren't only insane in America. Many parts of Europe and Asia also experienced a massive plant bubble that coincided with 2020. The world was stuck inside their homes and people improved their interior spaces, which is awesome. Indoor jungles became a hot trend on social media, but the bubble was nearly ready to burst. Auctions for the Spiritus Sancti in the Philippines started at $14,000, roughly three times the annual household income. These exorbitant prices built a flourishing houseplant industry, but the potential profits attracted unsavory characters into the tropical houseplant world. Houseplant theft increased at local garden centers and small houseplant shops. A houseplant store in Davis, California had their window broken in the middle of the night for a Monstera Thai constellation. Monstera obliqua and nearly anything variegated was on the thieves list. People stole from private collections, sometimes even hunting through greenhouses with their guns drawn. Even botanical gardens were targeted, which to many of us is a holy ground for plant preservation and conservation. A Monstera obliqua, a philodendron bicolor, and other specimens were stolen from the Huntington Botanical Garden in Los Angeles. So-called prop lifting became something to brag about in some circles on social media. It's believed that some of these stolen plants were then distributed to Instagram plant influencers by suspected perpetrators. Prices for philodendron spiritus sancti just fueled this panicked greed. But the most daring act of all came one early morning in May 2020 when a thief broke into the San Diego Botanic Garden and stole a cutting of their philodendron spiritus sancti. They reached up and cut an arm off the rarest aeroid in the world. After the theft, the tight-knit plant community expected to see it being resold. Many suspected a certain questionable person in the houseplant world might have committed the crime. We'll call him E. It was the same person who had been bragging about stealing from the Huntington Botanical Garden while he volunteered there. He later admitted to this previous theft at the Huntington Botanical Garden and wrote them an apology letter with a check which they did not accept. Controversy swirled around this Instagram plant fluencer group and it made it all the more suspicious that E's good friend all of a sudden appeared with a new Spiritus Sancti cutting for sale. He also happened to live within San Diego and a few months prior had posted on Instagram that he was drooling over the Spiritus Sancti that was then cut up a few months later. We'll leave it to you to draw your own conclusions. Unfortunately, no one was brought to justice for the theft of the Spiritus Sancti. This same person, E, was allegedly pressuring a researcher in Brazil to acquire a Spiritus Sancti and another rare philodendron and send it back to them in the United States because E had been donating hundreds of dollars of equipment. You can see the screenshots for yourself. The researcher then goes on to explain to E that he had only offered him 60 to $80 for some of the most rare philodendrons in the world and claims through these text messages that he was exploiting the researcher when he was low on resources. Even though this Brazilian researcher had been documenting images of rare philodendrons in the wild for the first time in history. Feel free to pause and read through these screenshots. They get pretty juicy. After summer 2020, the plant market cooled back down to a new normal, where Spiritus Sancti prices dropped year over year. By 2021, prices were down to around $10,000. By 2022, around three dollars to $5,000. Today, in mid-2023, large Spiritus Sancti can be found for around $500 to $1,500 for a similarly sized plant that would sell for 10 times that amount only three years before, nearly a 90% discount from the peak, similar to what happened in Tulip Mania. The Spiritus Sancti was brought into tissue culture from overseas, which helped oversupply the market and decrease the price. Simultaneously, demand cooled as the houseplant market seemed to level off to pre-pandemic levels, as many clout chasers left the hobby. Thank God. But a breeder in Tennessee would change this all. In the summer of 2021, Dominic Gravine from Redleaf Exotics successfully pollinated the Spiritus Sancti. He was the first to do it in the United States 
and the second to do it in the world. With his successful pollination came many green seedlings, which increased supply and made the plant more affordable, which was great for those collectors patiently waiting for the price to drop. But it accidentally created something never seen before, the ultimate holy grail. The variegated Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. Dominic shows off a strawberry shake esque variegation of the Spiritus Sancti variegata, which, when you add this variegation, it looks a lot like the Biliate. The specimens range in variegation, with one looking more like the Philodendron Whippleway, very light in color. Dominic has seemed to shatter the myth that variegation cannot be produced via seed. The price tag for one of these beautiful variegated Holy Grail Philodendron? Yep, you guessed it. $10,000. I can't help but feel the deja vu of 2020, but I cannot lie, these plants are absolutely gorgeous. I doubt the variegated PSS will bring us back to the chaos we once experienced in 2020. But who knows? As family formation slows, but the need for us humans to care for other living things persists, plants and puppies are likely to continue gaining popularity in the coming years. Which plant will be the next Holy Grail houseplant? I'm not sure but I'm willing to bet there will always be someone ready to collect it and steal it.